Hello, today we are working on oxidation and reduction reactions, also known as redox. Here's the problem we're going to work on. Zinc silver oxide batteries are used in cameras and hearing aids. Write half reactions, identify the species that is oxidized and the species that is reduced, and identify the oxidizing agent and reducing agent. And as always, we're given an equation to start with. So the first thing I want to do in any oxidation or reduction reaction is assign the oxidation numbers or charges if we see charges. We're going to do that um, by doing the easiest ones first. If I see any metals that are all by themselves, I automatically know that the oxidation state or the charge on that is zero. Those are neutral atoms. Next, I want to look and see if I have any elements with charges present um, where the charge is shown. I do not see any of those, so I'm going to move on to the next thing, which is look for main group elements, those ones in group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that have charges that are fixed. So I see oxygen, which I know always gets a charge of 2 minus, and from that I can figure everything else out. If oxygen's 2 minus here, that tells me that the zinc must be 2 plus, and over here I have two silvers, to go with one oxygen, so each silver must have an oxidation number of one. Notice I do the oxidation number for one atom of each of these, um, not for the whole group if there's, say, two silvers. I just do oxidation numbers for one atom. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is working towards half reactions. I want to rewrite this equation, but split up all of the ionic compounds. So I'm going to write zinc with an oxidation charge of zero. I'm going to move that subscript out in front and say I have two Ag pluses. I have one O2 minus. I have zinc two plus. I have O2 minus plus two Ag silver that are neutral. Here I notice that the oxygen is the same on both sides, so that actually I'm going to just leave out as I proceed in the problem. And now I have elements with oxidation numbers and I can write half reactions. So I'm going to first pull out all of the zincs and say zinc 0 becomes zinc 2 plus. So these are my half reactions. And then over here I've got 2Ag plus becomes to neutral silvers. To complete the half reactions I need to add electrons and the point of adding electrons is that I want to make sure that the charges on both sides of these equations are equal. So right now I see that zinc is zero and zinc becomes two plus. Zero is not equal to positive two. So over here I need to add two negative charges or two electrons. Two negatives two positives equals zero. So that one is a balanced half reaction. Over here I see that I have two positive charges while on this side I have two zeros. Again those are not equal so in order to balance this out I need to add two negatives or two electrons on the reactant side and now two positives, two negatives is equal to zero. So now I have my two half reactions. We're going to move to the next slide and look at assigning those as oxidation or reduction. So now we're ready to identify what was oxidized, what was reduced. When we identify those species, we are only looking at reactants. We assign a reactant that was oxidized, a reactant that was reduced. So here I look at these two, and I want to keep in mind my mnemonic that helps me remember this, oil rig. Oxidation is loss of electrons or hydrogens. Reduction is gain of electrons or hydrogens. So I come up here and I see zinc zero lost electrons, so therefore the zinc was oxidized. I always know reduction comes with that, so I always know that the other element must have been reduced, and that I see is true here. Electrons were gained by the Ag+, so that was reduced. When an element is oxidized, it always becomes more positive. When an element is reduced, it always becomes more negative. 
We also see that metals um, very often tend to be oxidized, but that is not always true. So if something is oxidized, that means it helped with reducing something else, and this is the reducing agent, and it supplied electrons for this silver to become reduced. Over here, if it was reduced, it helped something become oxidized, so this silver plus is also referred to as the oxidizing agent. Before we wrap up, I want to show you one more thing. Do you really need to do these half reactions to figure out oxidation and reduction? The answer is no, so let's move to the next page and we'll see how we could do this without a half reaction. So if at this point you have all of your oxidation numbers figured out, I can just link elements here, zinc and zinc here, and I notice that zinc became more positive. Oxidation is loss of electrons, which always means I become more positive. So I know that zinc was oxidized. And then I can match up the silvers here and see it went from plus one to zero. Reduction is gain of electrons, which always leads to a more negative oxidation number. And so I could say that zinc was oxidized and I could say that silver plus was reduced just from the oxidation numbers.